Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hilo trailer. I haven't done a whole lot on the trailer. Uh, I had to work this morning and now I'm trying to get my garden completely all planted in right now because right now it's Memorial Weekend and the garden, I always have it in before Memorial Weekend is done. If you remember last time, uh, one of the things I had to do was replace some of the light bulbs or some of the lights don't work. I'm sure I'll have some light issues also, but a lot of it was just the bulbs. So Melissa went ahead and ordered some and they just showed up today and she got the LED lights, which somebody actually said in comments that they use a lot less power and they last a long time. This is one of the regular lights that were already in here, the non-LED. And this one over here is the LED. And when I look at them, I do believe the LED light is brighter, so I really like that. One of the first things I did with the fifth wheel trailer and now again with the Hilo is go through the water system. So many things can go wrong. So I hooked it up, water worked great, went out, fired up the water heater. Water heater started up, it ran really good, it actually shut down and everything. So I thought, oh, that's great. And then I ran the water in here and no matter what I did, it was only cold water. and. Uh, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about winterizing these and it had the shut off for winterization. I looked it up online and I've had a lot of travel trailers but the ones that I had when I was working out in North Dakota, I had three of them out there. Those were, we ran them in the winter and I skirted the bottom and everything was heated and, and heat taped so we just never had any trouble. I never had to actually winterize a trailer. But apparently somewhere down the line this one didn't get winterized correctly because I went to the to the water heater and when I turned on the valves there's like the hot the cold in and the hot out and then there's a line that goes between them and there's a shut off valve on top and bottom and uh, when I shut the one off I would get no water out of the hot side of the sink and uh, it wouldn't work at all it was just cold before so then I turned that one back on then I turned the bottom one on and it didn't take very long and I had water that was running out on the floor here so at that point I knew that I had a problem so I went ahead and I pulled the water heater out, got it all unhooked, and all of this insulation was wet, and so was the cardboard. This older one has like a cardboard thing around it. The newer ones have styrofoam. Anyway, I started peeling into this, and there was the problem. Somebody did not winterize it correctly. And I'm sure I could probably bring that to Zachary, and he could get that welded up, and this one would still work, but this is probably the original water heater so I would make it 31 years old I'm just gonna buy a new one and put that in because I and this one here just has the pilot light so I might upgrade it's only about 80 or 90 dollars more so you get the one inside where you flick a switch and it automatically lights the uh, the pilot for you or I might look at the ones that have electronic ignition like the fifth wheel trailer has uh, but I haven't looked into them I've been so busy getting the garden in and everything I just I just had to get a bunch of stuff done and then I'm going to jump on this trailer and get it all finished up. So anyway, after tomorrow, um, my extra free time should be able to be spent fixing this up, but I wanted to give you guys an update. Definitely need a new water heater. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching and we will see you guys on the next video.